Welcome to that American football show powered by EP Sports. EP Sports is the top supplier in the UK for all of your American football needs, helping players and coaches reach their potential since 2007. Check them out at epsports.co.uk. And we've got the three of us back after the long bye week with all the teams. Uh, so we've got some power rankings. There's a bit of league news. There's a bit of playoff information. Uh, so we're going to have it all today. Um, yeah, first get into probably the biggest bit of news in the last two weeks. The fourth and final expansion team has been announced by Commissioner Azume. Uh, and it is the Munich Ravens. Um, I know we were not expecting another German team, uh, but we get a second match for uh, a, a Taft's, Taft's host because we've got Tim's Raiders and now we've got Craig's Ravens. We just need some Patriots. Is it definitely the Ravens? I've, I've seen Ravens confirmed. Because their Twitter account just says the Munich football team. I saw on a post, though, in one of their things that they hashtagged Munich Ravens, though. So you think they've kind of let it slip when they shouldn't, then? Well, I mean, every, everything's pointing towards that being a mm. fact. The only one of one I am... Um, I did hear of another one, but I can't remember. It did sound good. So, so the Munich yeah. Cowboys, because I think they're existing GFL teams, the Cowboys, isn't it? Well, not but, many teams. Of the, like the GFL team yeah. usually says you can't have our name. That's why it's not yeah. the... Frankfurt Universe, isn't it? But Munich makes sense. They're having an NFL game in Munich. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's one of the main reasons why Munich has been picked because it yeah. just works, especially with it coming for the first time this year. The amount of promotion that they can do. Exactly. What was it? 500 or 1,000 people tried to get tickets for the Germany game. And it's mm-hmm. almost saying, hold on. I know all of them won't be from Munich, but if they're just going to say, look, hold on, you can watch football in this city six times a year if yeah. you want for a much cheaper price and it's a very good standard still yeah. I think it's a smart I think it's a smart move I think it's a safe move I wouldn't call it boring I don't think it's boring I I, I would have liked another country to come in like yeah. France or you know Holland or Finland or whatever or UK but I think it's great Munich's a great city everyone who's been loves it and yeah more than happy Mm-hmm. And I saw that the Milano Seaman up there <laughs> oh, yeah. the oldest. We'll get over it. No, I won't. <laughs> they had their stadium announced. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like really lot. It's a, I think it's like a race originally, like a um, yeah, either dog racing or bike racing track, and it's like really long. Yeah, it's nice, nice looking stadium. Great. Yeah, I can't wait till the merchandise comes out. I want to get a t-shirt with semen all over it. Let's go, semen. <laughs> God. Sorry. <laughs> um, and yes, so uh, as the, the weeks start to progress, uh, the playoff gets more and more set in stone. Uh, current teams that are eliminated from playoff contention, shockingly, the surge are not there. The Rams didn't make the, the grade. Panthers, maybe a bit of a disappointing result for them. Big time. Uh, as with the Kings, I mean, yeah, fell off a cliff. Um, but yeah, I think those are the four that are mathematically out. Centurions. Are they got, definitely gone as well? well? They're, they're two and six, aren't they? They're the same as a lot of other teams. And two so and I think as it stands right now, it's the Vikings playing the, the Dragons and the Sea Devils playing the Raiders. Which would be great playoffs. If you look at uh, there's a guy on Reddit who's put gone through the schedule, and whoever came up with the schedule couldn't have done a better job for those teams: the Raiders, the Galaxy, and the Thunder, who basically are the teams in the running. They're all playing each other or a combination of each other, so it's going to be brilliant. So basically, the playoffs start now, and mm. we'll go into the games later, but. I think it's going to be Frankfurt. I think they're going to overtake the Raiders oh, on current form. Um, form. Yeah. Unbelievable. Event. But yeah, as he said, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, let's go into the first game of the weekend. Uh, we have the Ryan Fire travelling to Istanbul to play the Rams. Uh, 50 points to 32. 
a good show. Fair play to the Rams. Like they they've started competing again. But I mean, what I think um Jason Clark, six, seven touchdowns. Seven touchdowns. It was the best game of his career. And this is a direct quote. Not too shabby. Best game of my life. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was the, the, it was the first game the fire looked like they were back to what they had been at uh, yeah. points. Yeah, but even more exciting though, and uh, Timothy Canuto showing like, like what, fantasy, man. what we've kind of been missing from him. He said, you know, he's had a decent season, but this was the first time we've seen him do what we thought he could do. What two hundred and sixty yards, four yeah. touchdowns, and a lot of the catches he made as well were ridiculous. Yeah. So, so good. I didn't know that he'd actually played with Jadrian Clark at the, is it the Schwachbach Unicorns, mm. I think. I'm sure I read that last week. So if they know each other, it's kind of showing because as well, I think the fire suits those two players better than the other offences they were in because the Steel Devils are still, they're a run first offence and that's what he was in last year. So maybe this offence is well, it clearly he's running seven touchdowns. Against a much improved Rams, let's not forget Yes. That. Um, especially Isaiah Green. He's yeah, he's yeah. really good to watch. He can certainly run. It's almost like running is his first option. He's a yeah. run first, throw yeah, second. They've got a running back back and if they've got Lamar Jackson to, like of the ELF. Yeah. It just shows you what a bit of confidence for the Rams has done to them. Yeah. yeah you know, no, they were getting hammered. 70-0 they got hammered. They're in the and their uh, running backs like Ch- Chuokio or something. They're both brilliant yeah. players as well. Yeah, they're good. They just came up against an opposition and a quarterback on fire. Like yeah, any good. any other day, the, the Rams could have won that game. It's just how it was. Uh, second game of the Saturday, we had the Barcelona Dragons playing Cologne Centurions. 37 Dragons, 15 Cologne. Um, C- Cologne at least showed more life than they have done. Um, they, they didn't roll over as they have done in the past like two or three weeks but good show by the Dragons spread the ball about the, the Dragons are, have felt like they, they hit a little little trip of the past two, three games they've been losing to the Rams but this felt like the first game like, okay, we're starting to see they get back mm. in the flow I, with the Dragons they seem to be a team that almost plays to the stand of, of their opponents I, I when you see them up against a team like this or lower down, you go, are they really going to be able to fight with the big boys? And then when they play the big boys, they beat and nearly beat the like they they go like blow for blow with them. They they, they seem to be that kind of team that depending on who they play is equals how they play. But especially in the first quarter, it felt like that. But there was a slow burn. But once they got going. Mm-hmm. Then you really saw the quality of their defense. Fernandez again had another great game. It's just yeah, a lot that, of interceptions for the Dragons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was. It was it was a bit of a nuts game, but yeah, I think I think the Dragons will be fine. They just need to make sure they get into those playoffs, and then they can go all the way. There's no reason why they couldn't. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think Cologne have been the biggest disappointment of the season after what, how they started. Yeah, def- definitely what they showed us. Yeah. Mm. I like Mac though. Mac attack. He's good fun to watch. Mm-hmm. He went on a couple nice runs, but yeah, the Centurions, it's one of those where just refine, keep the players you want to keep and bring in additions where you feel they need it. Yep. Okay, now Sea Devils have been blowing teams out all, all the year. It doesn't change. Uh, they blow out the Kings 59-0. Uh, they started to stare back at quarterback Max in the second half and he was playing well. CC played well. The defense just smothered them. I think Justin Rogers got a pick six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Started with a kickoff touchdown, return touchdown. Uh there was the guy who did that kick, I can't remember his name, but I think he got two touchdowns later. Like it was pretty brutal on every single front. Yeah. yeah, the Leipzig quarterback was getting absolutely battered. Yeah, Matt, yeah. I think I think he actually he got hurt, didn't he? So yeah, he got Miller. hit, hit yeah. badly, and then like I think as the next play, he got hit badly again. He was like, I'm done. Yeah, it's this like, thing the Seahawks have just Sea Devils, sorry, have just been improving all season. Do you remember at the start when we were ranking them quite high, and their own fans were going, "Oh, not that good," but now they've got they've got the joint top records. Yeah, so Hamburg's look like to me, I think. And we'll get to the Vikings, but Hamburg looks like the strongest team right now. 
Just because their defense right. is absolutely brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Cissé improving and their wide receivers are now in the game. And they're, they're just yeah. scoring in all three aspects of the game. So yeah. Like, yeah, like Cissé, Cissé does look much improved. And I feel like it's only a matter of time before either Glenn Tunga, Gene Constant, or um, I always forget his name, Lamar Jordan. Mm-hmm. Um, just one of them is going to score on you. Like, it's just a matter of time. Unfortunately for the Kings, it was many times. Yeah. Oh, and shout out as well to Justin for the old peace out as he was yeah. running into the yeah. end zone. Bit of well, showboating. Um, Love it. Um, competitive game. One of the more competitive games. Berlin Thunder beat the Panthers 29-12. Th- Thunder... Every week, I like to say, is that they they put they put on a good show every time. Like it's always a good win. Um, their defense is really really good. Um, Jaminho looks much improved. Mm-hmm. Um, they've got what's his name, the running back um, that they signed off the surge or something. No, they've still got so it's just Crawford. Jock Crawford, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Jock Crawford who had an amazing run. I don't know if you saw it, but like he, they yes, stop him. Rapid, um, but yeah, it was. I'm, I'm I'm happy the Thunder. Whilst they're probably not making the playoffs, I'm happy the Thunder are going to be going strong into next season. For sure, yeah. They've been, you said German area for me. I think he is possibly the most improved player in the league, got from week one to now, or he's at least in that conversation. Wilshek again, like I think I feel like Wilshek has opened the scoring mm-hmm. in almost every single game. Seems the Thunder, it. it really does, and. It's tough to win. It's tough to win against Rotslav. Every team that goes there finds it hard, but they were off to a fly where they'd like 20 nil up and then the Panthers kind of worked their way back in. It's they they yeah, it was the score was closer, but they made it seem like work. Well, they've also they have got a good chance of getting in the playoff because destiny is kind of in their hands because they are playing up. They are playing the Galaxy and they're playing the Raiders, I believe. And the Sea, I think they got if they got the Sea Devils well, next. Yes, it's not. Oh no, sorry, they've got the Sea Devils, they've got the Raiders, and they've got the Rams. So they've got a chance. You know, it's one they do need someone else to mess up and lose, drop down a game. They but... need the Raiders to lose out to get in. Yeah. Well, they just need to beat the Raiders if they win. If they win their last three. I think oh, they might. No, they might not. Depends no, on the galaxy. They, they'd split the series with because the Raiders have already beaten them. Uh, so that's why they're ahead of them now because they're on the same record, aren't they? They're both six and three. Yeah. And it's that's at the point where Joe needs to tell us the rules of tie breaks because he's always good at looking at stuff like that. Oh and god. I'll have to have another look because <laughs> I, I see different sources say different things. Mm. <laughs> that's all I can say. Yeah. Yeah, the, the the Panthers, their, their biggest issue's got to be quarterback. Like, it just they, if you, you've got Malik Stanley, who's so good, and they just they, they can't really seem to score. Yeah, they just, they've been. I I had them as going to the championship game at the beginning of the season, so that shows how far off. Uh, there was a quarterback change, so yeah, they lost Justice Hansen, who was yeah. meant to be a top three QB on paper, so. They've always got next year. Yeah. And here we come. Shock of the weekend. Final undefeated team gets toppled. We've got the Frankfurt Galaxy laying into the Vikings 42-8. And it, it was not pretty. Like, Galaxy just put the boot onto their neck and just did not let off. Like, it was... I didn't really see how it started because they just started winning and you're like, oh... The Vikings just aren't stopping them, and the Vikings are not scoring against them either. Like Jake Sullivan looked absolutely lights out. Reese Horn's really, really good. Yeah, <laughs> they, the Galaxy was, especially the defense, was so mm. fired up for it. Every player saw they were dancing, they were hitting hard, and they were executing. And I've never seen the Vikings look so shook. And that was it. That you know. Vikings are so used to having everything their way and everything going for them, and then it just fell apart. It was yeah. unbelievable. Is it, it? It looks like what surprised me was how the Galaxy was so good on offense against mm-hmm. that Vikings defense, which has just you know been insane against every team they've yeah. come up against. But you're right; the Galaxy defense was the main 
area. It was Nasri and Carlos Brown's two of their signings this year yeah. who really just stood up and were just back. It just, Erdman was just heavily pressured. Yeah. It felt like all game and he just, you know, the, the, He's, I don't know. It was just one of those where I think that was his first real tough, tough game, and he just yeah. didn't seem to come on top. It's the first game I've watched where I was like, "That's the Galaxy that played last year." Yeah, yeah. it was one of those games like, oh, "There's no chance they lose." <laughs> but it's just, it's just that we always say it every week with the Galaxies: can they be consistent? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if that Galaxy turns up, they're winning the championship. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. not, it's yeah. not even close. Yeah. So what was that? Who are they playing next week, Tim? They are playing. Let's have a look. Surge. Oh, then. Yeah. One can hope. <laughs> no, they're playing the fire. Oh. That's a, that's a test. They're playing the fire, then they're playing, they're playing at the fire, they're playing the Raiders. That's huge. That's I mean, their final games are gimme. It's a surge. Okay, they, they've got two tough games coming to fire. I, I, I could see Galaxy taking the fire, but yeah, that Raiders game is going to be a playoff game. I think, excuse my local geography, but isn't that a local derby? Or was that last week? I, no, think, last Ryan, week. I think Ryan Frankfurt is one, though, because it was one of the most attended games. Yeah, because the, the, the what I was reading, they're thinking it might be a new, another new attendance record. Yes, if I it's think it might be over 12,000 people, which is incredible. That'd yeah, be amazing. Ryan team is got the the background for that, that that huge fan base it's incredible yeah jadrian's doing like tv adverts and he's on bus stops and everything now <laughs> yeah they're fairly close i think there's like two hours between okay. them so but that for germany that's fairly fairly close. Close. Not like next door yeah and then two teams you've just been talking about surge and the raiders it was wasn't even really a blowout like the raiders the raiders were worth watching up and just let let him let him <laughs> It's, it's, this is like the third game in a row. The Raiders just only turned up in the first half and got the job done by halftime and we just took the foot off the gas. And I don't like to call any players out for effort, but on Sean Shantel's run, there's one of the surge that... Sean's not the most dynamic and duking runner in the world. He's, he can run, but he just sidestepped this guy. Yeah. And just <laughs> the guy just kind of went... Uh, and let him run past. Did you see when Sean Shelton got in the end zone, he looked yeah. around and went, what? what yeah, did a whistle blow or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, was a great. 80 yard scramble touchdown. Yeah. I mean, I, I started him in fantasy, so I was pleased. <laughs> That's what it says on the stats. So he would take it. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, yeah. Surge just ha haven't finished the season anywhere, thing anywhere near what we'd hope like the Rams have done. No, they've not covered themselves in any glory, have they, at all no, this year? They, 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 they mm. just nearly won, and then they just seem to have lost it. Yeah. Yeah, well, at least they get the overall number one draft pick next year. Absolutely. <laughs> right, boys, power rankings. We didn't do any last week because it was a bye week, nothing changed. But to remind us of our week nine power rankings, we had the Vikings at the top. We had Hamburg second, Dragons third, Raiders fourth, Galaxy fifth, the Thunder sixth, Fire seventh, Panthers eighth, Rams ninth. That was controversial. Centurions tenth, Kings eleventh, Surge twelfth. So bottom down, I think we can confidently leave the Surge at the bottom. Yeah. Does anyone take the Kings place at 11th? I don't think so. I think the Kings stay yeah. there. Yeah. Cool. Um, so next we have the Centurions. Does anyone take their spot? The only one who really can is the Panthers, but I think the Saints are beneath them. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And then we have the Rams here, followed by the Panthers. I think the Rams have earned being put over the Panthers. I don't know. The Rams have won one game, haven't they? Yeah. That's the thing. That's the only thing. The, the Panthers lost, but they didn't get hammered. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And I think they did all right yeah. against Frankfurt Yeah. a week before. 
I get I get why you'd want to, but I I, I don't know. I'm I am fine with leaving it as it is. Yeah, I don't I think it follows our rule of there's not enough to swap it. Yeah, because I think the next top, next seven are going to take ages. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is really tricky. <laughs> right. My oh yeah, it is hard. <laughs> Who who wants to volunteer? It's a 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Who wants to volunteer a seventh? Right. I don't think we should keep the fire at seven. I agree. Okay. I also agree. <laughs> cool. Well, that's fine then. We can lock that in. And impressive win, but it's just the teams above them. Yeah. Yeah. The, I think you could argue the Thunder could be put below them. But I think the Thunder have been so consistent. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, they've just they've racked up some great wins. This is a seven-game winning streak as well, isn't it? And I, you, you can't really argue anyone's beneath the Thunder. Yeah. Oh, okay, so Thunder at six? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, this is, this, is where I this is This is where it gets really difficult. We yeah. want to take the Galaxy for one game's worth of power. They, they beat number one. Yeah, they hammered the number one. Yeah, ones. they they battered them. Yeah, and they but then who them. drops? The Raiders. You but think Raiders, it's more impressive? It's definitely more impressive to beat the number one team. But at the same the time, twelve team. Raiders have put, again put together consistency. The Galaxy. So, okay, up. so for in the battle for four and five, then if mm. they played each other this week, who do you think would win? Who's the better team right now? I, I also would like this is this is related. Didn't um Raiders just lost to the Vikings, right? Yeah. Like 23, 26, isn't it? Yeah. It was close. No, it, was, no, it wasn't close. Was, oh no, it wasn't close, it was, was it? No, no, it wasn't close at all. Um see if I can find what the score was, but I know it wasn't close. That was week nine. Yeah, was the argument up. for you saying like if they played right 29, now. 29 13. Yeah. Which galaxy is gonna turn up though? Is it the one that just wax the undefeated team, or is it Galaxy in two thirds of the other season? I think that Galaxy team's been left behind. I think the Galaxy team have righted the ship. I'm just playing devil's advocate. I know, I know, but I definitely <laughs> think I think it's Raiders five, Galaxy four. And then I'll bring up two other teams. How far do we let the Vikings drop? And in that, like, wh where are the Dragons amongst all this? I think the Dragons are firmly in third because they're above Frankfurt and the Raiders, but they're below the Vikings and the Sea Devils. I think so too, yeah. Okay. We can lock Dragons in. So, yeah, Dragons third, I think, is fair. Yeah, I agree. But the thing is with the Galaxy as well, they, they, they battered Vikings, but they only just won against the Panthers the week before. Mm. That's, that's that's the this is the problem with the galaxy. They're struggling against the Rams as well. That's what I mean. Like no, the surge, yeah. they went to overtime with the surge. The surge, yeah. I mean, the galaxy have put up one hell of a game last week, but if you look at two thirds of the current season, they have either lost or struggled to win. I just think the Raiders, the last few games the Raiders have played, have been blowouts against bad teams. But good, but good teams beat bad teams like that. But then you can only also you can only beat what's in front of you. Yeah, I get what you mean. I think I think the Galaxy warrant when the Galaxy last played the Surge that like they, they they like you said they won in like triple overtime or something, mm. and the Raiders just stumped them. So that that almost cancels out the whole Vikings thing. But I, I it is like I I don't have a particular. I think one should be over the other. I because I think it's really hard. I think it's yeah, so I definitely close. say I think Frankfurt should go over the Raiders. Oh, but then I think it's hot. I, I agree. I agree. I think the I think Frankfurt would win. The best Frankfurt beat yeah. the best Raiders. Yeah. But, yeah, but I think it's more likely you're gonna get like a 70% of each team, in which case the Raiders probably take that. Uh, but at the same time, is it is it harsh to move the Raiders down on winning what was it 40? Four three, where I mean, it was? Against the the surge. there's not enough evidence against the worst team in the league. But but it's unfair to like leave the galaxy after toppling the beat best team. Yeah. Right, I'll, I'll flip this. Is Hamburg top? Yes, yes, I think so. Definitely. Cool. Which means we know the Vikings are second. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, that's the first top flip in a while. Yeah, it's a bloody Ravens and Galaxy. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're gonna f- we're gonna find that in the next three weeks. Yeah, we're not deciding their fate at all. We're just saying who do no. we think is better at right at this moment. And yet again, I think the Galaxy are a better team. They're just too inconsistent. Yeah, and Which the Raiders is- are. Consistent. The Raiders are consistent, but not consistent, but, but not as good. Consistent. This, this is this is more of a bigger picture than this argument. But the Raiders haven't beaten the two big because they played the Vikings twice and lost, and the second time they yeah. lost was a blowout. Yeah. Also, I funny know that from earlier is the Raiders played the Vikings twice yesterday. I don't know if anyone noticed that. Oh uh, right, yeah. Oh no, I'm no no. It was the Galaxy. Ignore me. Raiders Vikings was Raider on, and Vikings I thought played twice yesterday. Yeah, the Vikings played twice yesterday. There you go. And, and if you Raiders. watch more than five minutes of preseason football, there's something wrong with you. Oh, mate, I watched the first drive where we had all our starters on, and it was glorious. And then I went to bed. <laughs> when I found that half the Raiders starters were across the road in a basketball game, I was like, "Yeah, this is going to be worth watching." Jared again. Stidham turned up. He did all right. He he did all considering right. how bad the offensive line was. Yeah. Matt Jones had been rated like 85th on the top 100. And everyone's like, what? Why? <laughs> Patriots tax. It's, yeah, bloody Patriots. Enjoy Matt Patricia in the Euro six. Yeah, well, yeah, we can get on to that another day. Um, right. right. Yeah. Raiders off. Yeah, back to it. Galaxy. Is there enough evidence to push the Galaxy up? to switch because right now we do have the Raiders on top I think, I think if we're just looking at what happened yes, our, our power rankings haven't changed whatsoever except for the top two <laughs> so if I said to you with no names on any teams that these two teams are very similar and they're right next to each other we decide where to put them one beat the undefeated team and the other one beat the team that were at the bottom you don't automatically think that team A were a better team, which is the Galaxy, because they beat the Vikings. No one has got anywhere near, well, not that close, to beating the Vikings all season. And the Galaxy yeah, think pumped up. If we're looking at it from the consistency point of view, we can't judge a team from where it was four weeks ago. Mm. You need to have it from where they are now, in which case the Galaxy should be on top. Yeah, I agree to that. Okay. Right, so the task week 11 power rankings. We've got the Surge at 12th, the Kings in 11th, Centurions at 10th. We haven't changed except for two things. Rams at 9th, Panthers at 8th, Fire at 7th, Thunder 6th, the Raiders at 5th, taking a small one drop, Galaxy at 4th, taking one step up, Dragons remain at 3rd, the Vikings come off the perch, come down to number two after not a great showing, and Hamburg, after several blowouts, take the, the throne at number one. There it is. Yeah, I think that's good. Can't see them. Obviously, we've had it, we've shown it, there's a long argument between the Raiders and the Galaxy, but other than that, I think it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I'm interested to see who who have the dragons got for their last right. few games? And they've got the surge next. So the dragons have got Ooh, the surge, tough. the Vikings, and the Sea Devils. That's tough. Ooh, that last game. Uh-huh. But that could, depending on what happens with the fire against the galaxy, if you you know if you get yeah. that bad galaxy, that could be for the playoffs. It, you know, in what? a way, I w- like if the dragons beat the Rams. Uh, oh, the surge, sorry. Are they safe? No, I don't think so. I think they're only one game. Because if they, the fire, if they reach a point where they're able to rest starters, that Hamburg game, I think they will. Yeah, yeah for sure. But the fires, so the fire have got the Galaxy coming to them, and then they've got the Centurions and the Kings. So for them, their play, they, they will be thinking next week is that that is it. Like we have to win that yeah, game. Why are only one game behind the Dragons? Yes, but I Ooh. believe the Dragons have beaten no, us they're twice. Two. The two. So the Dragons are seven and two at the minute. The Fire are five oh, and four. Of course, yeah. So there's three games left. So theoretically, so the need to win, beat the Surge, yeah. and hope that the Fire lose to the Galaxy, yeah. and then they just then they can sit their stars. Yeah, yeah. 
And if you're playing the Vikings and Galaxy and the DC Devils, those are going to be physical games. And I very much imagine them going, let's actually try yeah. out back up. <laughs> I'm loving the schedule. It is perfectly At the same time, I imagine the Vikings and the Sea Devils will also be able to rest stars yeah. at that point. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely the. Well, they're both going to be going for the for number one, or do, is yeah. is that really relevant for, I for both the, of those? The fourth seed, you're either going to be playing the Raiders or the Galaxy. Like, yeah. it's not like it's going to be easier. <laughs> no, yeah. you don't have an easy game. Um, what are the games next week? If you're not playing fantasy football, check them out. We retweet them and re-insta them. Uh, I think I think we're all in the playoff rankings. You two are roughly. I saw I saw the post. He's done like a big bracket. You two are roughly in the same bracket. Okay. Like if you split it into the like, imagine a big playoff bracket. If you split it into four quarters, you guys are in the top right together. I'm okay. far below. I'm looking at that. Let me check that. Can you yeah. please? Can someone please send me a reminder? Yeah, I need to send you on a Friday more. Unless uh, the playoffs didn't start last week, did they? No, because it because the way they're doing it, actually, no, yeah, it might have done. No, oh, might have, you might have plucked it, Joe. Oh, <laughs> please, no. I've literally been playing all year, and then the one, happy, the one week I forget. And if you're not already playing that, go check out and say it. it is a good bit of fun, and it really helps yeah. to start to get kind of players in your head as well. Um, where can they find our social medias, Joe? Yeah, our Twitter and Instagram is at TAFS underscore UK, and our Facebook is that American Football Show. Uh, NFL is starting to come back. So we will be putting out our, some NFL content again. That is what we are. Uh, we're going to get a pre-season show with predictions, season predictions, playoff seeding, all that good stuff. Um, if people want us to do a fantasy one or any other things that you think you'd want us to do, let us know. But we are fairly busy, so we, we want to get it all done in that one big preseason goodness. Um, you guys enjoying your preseason? We've we've not had any. Uh, Jason Kelsey's out for the preseason, but hopefully back season one. Any big news with you guys? Not really. Dan Waller's not been playing, and there's. Rumours that why he's out, but I think it's just smoking. It's just giving him veterans days off. So uh, none of the starters have started any of the preseason games, cut from uh, Josh Jacobs, which is a bit weird. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I can see him getting traded, to be honest, because they've stocked up the running back room full of expatriates, and the guy <laughs> we draft, one of the guys we drafted, seems to be doing all right. So uh, yeah, we'll see. But other than that, yeah, it's nothing I've learned about the Raiders other than we we're going to struggle on offensive line, which you know I knew that before. So yeah, how's Taekwon Thornton, Joe? Yeah, he looked fun. But like, I'm actually looking forward to him playing. Uh, Zap or Zappy, whatever. I, I can't remember how you pronounce it because I hear you keep hearing different pronunciations. He looked okay. Uh, nothing too special, but he's a rookie, so he'll get he'll get used to it. As a he seems like he'd be a decent backup with Hoyer as well. But losing to the Giants preseason or not is never nice. Uh, we lost to the Jets, mate. Don't worry. Oh, that means nothing then. We're undefeated, and it means nothing. But he seem like the the Ravens are like twenty one games undefeated. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Tryhards, mate. I read, someone put a post up though. We always play the Jets in preseason. We just always have. And whenever we lose to them in preseason, we typically have two more wins in the regular season. So it's a good, it's a good thing. Science is purpose. Stuff. Um, if you are listening to us on YouTube, um, please give us a like and a subscribe. It helps us get our stuff more out there. Uh, and we a lot of you do leave comments if you want to leave comments uh, but from what you want us to talk about, whether it is ELF or NFL, please do let us know. Um, anything else before we get off, boys? Uh, the all star voting is open for the ELF, so huh. get involved on that. I think, yeah, we should, we could maybe come up with a list or something of our own. That would be quite, yeah, get entertaining. Off. Us all stars, yeah. Um, so go check out the ELF website, get your votes in, and get your favorite plays up there. Tim, anything before we go? No, all done for me.
Good stuff. Well, thank you so much for listening, everyone. Make sure you head over and check out our friends at EP Sports for all your NFL or equipment needs. And we will see you next time.